Good morning, Tony. Yeah, well, first, I want to point out that Congressman Cuellar is reported to be OK. But as you mentioned, this is a heavy populated area. Probably because of that, we have been seeing a heavy police presence here this morning, both of Capitol Police as well as D.C. Police. Now, a lot of lawmakers live in this area as well, because as you mentioned, we're pretty close to the Capitol. It's a straight shot up New Jersey Avenue here. They were all celebrating graduation Sunday afternoon. They were walking up Fifth Street northeast here toward Union Market, which is just a couple of blocks back that way. When two guys ran up to them, pointed a gun at them, and demanded their possessions. We saw something being sprayed from the law enforcement that was here. Originally, it was just park police toward the direction of the people here protesting, and it just walked it over here. So my partner Eric and I are feeling that a little bit right now. Other people were screaming medic, others covering their eyes. But what's happened so far is it looks like the protesters, so they took a fence that was surrounding the Andrew Jackson statue, opened it up, came in, and climbed on top of the statue, trying to pull it down. The majority of this damage to the high school was actually here at the football stadium. If we zero in over here, you can see that the tornado ripped through and just completely uprooted this tree, sending it flying onto the bleachers here, crushing them. There's also debris all over the track, still littering the ground here, as well as out on the field. Now, the good thing, though, is a spokesperson said that the school itself didn't really sustain much damage and no one was hurt. We're seeing these increases you know, year over year of traffic fatalities. I mean, what do you think sh should be done differently to try to reduce that number? But as you can see, canceled, 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 canceled for Southwest flights. I just checked that flight aware tracker as well about five minutes ago, and it said about 94 departures out of BWI are canceled for today. And you can see that this luggage continues to pile up. And they say that two young men were targeted who were waiting outside of the carry out here. And police actually said that this surveillance can Camera from the Shell gas station right next door caught the suspect on video. Some of the other hidden gems within this hidden gem in DC are secret doors scattered throughout the museum. Kind of a metaphor for searching within yourself. One secret door at a time. So let's talk you through how this works. You show up 24 seven to one of these machines. You dial the number that is on that. When you answer it, it's actually gonna give you a code that you can put in here. And then you're going to choose which product you want. Maybe it's the Narcan. Maybe it's one of the fentanyl test strips. You'll get it right out. And then they said that you can actually have them save your number for future use. You can see here that Ukrainian flag that was painted on the street, as Larry mentioned, just about 90 minutes ago from demonstrators. To keep masks in healthcare settings, like here at Children's National, they say it's a simple step that really helps them tremendously. We're barely showing you half of this gymnasium where they have all of these zones set up. They're going to be making these kits. Here, we're in the hygiene kit area. They're going to have more than a thousand volunteers coming out here this morning. And then and even more going to different sites throughout the community. I'm going to walk over here now to Deacon Stanley Jones Jr. Another bell rung means another box packed toward those more than 300,000 meals going toward D.C. area families. At the D.C. Convention Center, Jess Arnold, WUSA 9. The sound of a day's work for D.C. police officer Jeremy Brady. Hey, where's your helmet? As he tries to keep people safe on these streets. There we go. So the speed was uh, 46 miles per hour. That's the speed he was traveling at, and the speed limit is 25. I work in uh, one of our crime suppression units. Yes, okay. Um, but traffic has always been one of my, my big things. Even in my police car, I've been crashed into six times in like three years. That's wild. Yeah, sitting at red lights. It's all been a matter of distracted driving, uh -huh. inattention dangerous behaviors that have led to deadly outcomes. <laughs> Looking in the rear view, it's hard to erase the image of this March crash where a woman smashed into a lift head on at 70 miles per hour, killing all three on board. Later, we found out she had more than $12,000 in unpaid tickets and prior DUIs. What is the police's role in, in cracking down on these repeat offenders? Having more focused traffic enforcement is something that would definitely have a bigger impact. Um, officers are actually doing more traffic stops. Traffic fatalities in D.C. have been mostly increasing over the last decade, according to police data. 40 people have died in crashes so far this year. That's more than 2022's total. We're seeing these increases, you know, year over year of traffic fatalities. I mean, what do you think sh should be done differently to try to reduce that number? I think we need more of it. He's referring to stops. That 
interaction between the officer and the driver has a, a much more positive outcome in the end. We are literally just trying to make it safer. Particularly around schools. And I stopped you because there were students crossing in the crosswalk when you made the left turn. I'm actually going to issue a warning on this one. I feel she, she genuinely yeah. didn't do it. It was more for awareness on this one. So while PFC Brady remains vigilant. This gentleman did not have a seatbelt on. He says it shouldn't just be on his radar. Every person has equal responsibility to make it safer. Everybody's got to be aware, and that's why we have the rules, to try to guide them to safer passage. Right. <laughs> that's Reagan. <laughs> Come on, Reagan. Looking at Reagan Grimes, Look at Reagan. hamming it up for the camera, you'd never guess what this nine-year-old girl has been through. We're not talking a tough math test. Girl is so exhausted. Her homework problem. <laughs> This one left scars. My daughter called me. She was just screaming. Reagan got shot. And I was like, what? Reagan's grandma, Tina Grimes, says back in May 2021, she had been playing outside a friend's apartment in Northeast DC. I was on a bike. And then I went back inside to go eat. And then I came back out. And when you came back out, what, what had happened? You don't want to talk about it? In her chest, um, it went through in the back. So, you know, when she's taking a shower, she's changing her clothes. It's always a constant reminder because she still has a scar on her. I just like to call it a little tattoo because it'll probably be there forever. The mental scars prove even harder to heal. Sometimes she may just cry or she would ask questions, uh, you know, like, oh, why did this happen to me? Uh, Mama, are you gonna get the person who did this? Police haven't. So now she only visits this courtyard in her nightmares. When I go to sleep, I don't like to leave the light off. It's been tough on younger brother Dre too. He was at the shooting. And I feel Happy that she's okay. And Reagan is happy she can lean on Mama. She and her two brothers live with her in Akakeek, Maryland now. I know you're not shy. With Mama, I felt safe because I wasn't alone, alone anymore. You know, um, create a space where she can tell me anything. Or dance to anything. <laughs> Tina's begging people to let kids play in peace these young boys growing up, you know, to show them that there is another way. They don't have to resort to gun violence. Because kids like Reagan have goals. I actually want to be an artist. I want to learn how to paint more. Tina's mission is even simpler. I just want to show them um, to love people, you know, just, just be a good person and just to love people. Is there anything else you want to say? Um, hi. Ha, 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 ha.